is Chris Mitchell. I want to talk to you today about satellite antenna or satellite uh, dish TV, uh, dish network or uh, direct TV. Uh, something interesting going on about these satellites versus other satellites. Notice, I want you to, to remember or recall that the moon, we are told, is our largest satellite. It rises in the east and sits in the west, and we see other satellites that we are told that they can take photos you know, across the landscape uh, of our supposed planet. And they can actually take pictures of license plates and that type of thing from these orbiting satellites. But when it comes to DISH TV, uh, the satellites do not move. They are fixed. In fact, I've knocked this DISH off once, and I've had to adjust it. And with just one small turn of a wrench, just one little slight move, the dish, um, if the dish moves just a little bit, then I lose sat satellite signal. Now the dish is pointing uh, here toward the southern sky where we're told a satellite exists. And the satellite in the southern sky, again, it supposedly never moves. What they say is that it's in a geosynchronous orbit. That is, the Earth is rotating uh, at a thousand miles per hour, and they've launched this satellite in such a fashion that it also is spinning around the Earth at a thousand miles per hour, and it never gets out of sync. And so, uh, because of, they're so precise with the satellite, we are able to get um, our satellite television 95 to 99 percent of the time. Now I also have on my home um, uh, a direct TV antenna because uh, I've had direct TV as well at one point in time and it also points uh, in the southern sky. And notice this other antenna that I have here. This other antenna also picks up HD signals. Uh, this is for local HD broadcasting. Uh, I try getting uh, local broadcasting and I was successful in doing it. I just had to have a uh, decoder and I could get uh, HD channels uh, within 70 miles that were broadcasted within 70 miles of my home. So the bottom line here is that uh, the signals that we are getting are actually radio signals. You can go actually look this up. Uh, the television signals you're getting, whether they're coming from a supposed satellite, broadcast station, whatever it may be, these are actually radio signals. And so that's why I could pick these signals up with a dish or with this other type of antenna that you see here on my home. Now it's my personal belief that the satellite story is a hoax. Uh, we all know that ham radio, you can bounce off the ionosphere and uh, these signals, radio signals, will go for miles. We have these communication towers that are all around us and we know that uh, we are receiving all of these uh, communications however we are receiving these communications. So uh, the story about having a satellite in the, in the southern sky that never moves is absolutely absurd. So I went to this website called How Stuff Works and there I found an article that explained how the uh, broadcast station broadcasts a signal, a radio signal, to an orbiting satellite and then back to our homes. And they had an isolated illustration. The problem was the illustration didn't show why all of our dishes pointed south or pointed to a specific location. Why can they not give us an illustration that actually shows us how things are actually working? If you'll look, go over to this website and look at their illustration, you'll see their illustration does not make any sense. And what's interesting, I found that they made this statement. If the Earth were perfectly flat, you could pick up broadcast TV thousands of miles from the source. Why even make a statement like this? I mean, it's almost like with them making this statement, they are telling us what is transpiring in our world. 
So I went to this website called dishpointer.com and it shows you where all the uh, satellites are pointing to. And I believe this is Galapagos Islands. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a communications tower possibly here. But why do all the communi why do all the satellites point to Galapagos or the islands of Galapagos? If you go here and you type in any of the locations, and you can see here, as I'm typing in uh, different locations in the United States for the satellite pointer, they all point to the Galapagos Islands. Why are they all pointing to the same location? Um, you might have to check me on this section to see if that's what these islands are. I believe that's what these islands are. But, I mean, every single one of these locations are pointing to the exact same location. And this seems to be telling us that these are indeed land-based systems. Just like a ham radio can send out radio signals, so we send out radio signals. So do we believe that this is what the world looks like? Is this our world where communication towers are hanging on their sides? Broadcast stations are you know, nearly upside down? Is this really what we believe the world looks like? Uh, is this how we package our system up where we have satellites up in a uh, thermosphere in climates that are so hot uh, that we can get radio signals? I contend that we have ignored our fathers from long ago, and we have ignored the Bible and what the Bible says, what the Bible has been trying to tell us for years.